Hey everyone, today we're diving deep into what could be the most exciting Mac Mini update we've ever seen. After examining months of research and recent leaks, I've got some fascinating details about the upcoming M4 Mac Mini that you'll definitely want to hear about. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on the latest tech news. The biggest story here is the complete redesign of the Mac Mini. For over a decade, We've had this familiar square design that's become iconic for the Mac Mini, but research indicates Apple is about to change everything. The new Mac Mini is reportedly shrinking down to nearly Apple TV size. We're talking about a roughly 60% reduction in size. That's absolutely incredible when you think about the power packed inside. To put this in perspective, the current Mac Mini measures about 7.7 .7 inches square and 1.4 inches tall. The new design could be closer to 4 inches square and about an inch tall. This means you could potentially stack three new Mac Minis in the space of the current model. Now let's talk about connectivity because this is where things get really interesting. Research shows the new design will feature a completely revamped port layout. You'll find three USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back and for the first time ever on a Mac Mini, two USB-C ports on the front. There's also an HDMI 2.1 port supporting up to 8K displays and a high-speed Ethernet port. The front USB-C ports are a game-changer for anyone who's ever had to reach around their Mac Mini to plug in a drive or accessory. However, it looks like traditional USB-A ports are being removed entirely. While this might require some adapters initially, the trade-off brings us faster data transfer speeds and a more compact design that's ready for the future. Here's something fascinating about the power system. The power supply is moving external, similar to the 24-inch iMac. But don't worry about a bulky power brick. Research suggests Apple has developed a sleek, compact GAN power adapter specifically for the new Mac Mini. This external power supply is actually crucial to achieving the smaller form factor. The cooling system is equally innovative. Despite the smaller size, Apple has apparently developed a new thermal architecture that includes a vapor chamber cooling system, variable speed fans with new blade design, advanced thermal sensors, and optimized airflow channels. These improvements mean the new Mac Mini can maintain peak performance even under heavy loads. Now, let's get into the really exciting stuff. Performance. The M4 chip is showing some impressive capabilities in testing. The base M4 model comes with a 9-core CPU featuring 6 efficiency cores and 3 performance cores, alongside a 10-core GPU. You'll get 16GB unified memory as standard, and the neural engine is reportedly 40% faster than its predecessor. For those needing more power, the M4 Pro model steps things up with up to 14 CPU cores, 18 GPU cores, and support for up to 32GB of unified memory. Early benchmarks are showing some impressive numbers. We're looking at 23% faster single-core performance than the M3, up to 50% faster multi-core performance, and a 40% improvement in machine learning tasks. But what do these numbers mean in real-world use? For video editors, you're looking at 30% faster 4K video exports and the ability to handle up to 12 4K streams simultaneously. Software developers will appreciate up to 25% faster Xcode compile times and significantly improved virtual machine performance. 3D artists aren't left out either. Blender renders are up to 40% faster, and viewport performance in apps like Cinema 4D is noticeably smoother. The new Mac Mini isn't just about performance. It's also about style. Research indicates we'll see two color options. A classic silver with a slightly warmer tone than before, and a new space black finish similar to the MacBook Pro. The chassis is reportedly made from recycled aluminum with a new manufacturing process that creates a more durable finish resistant to fingerprints. Based on current research, we're looking at an early to mid-November announcement, with pre-orders likely starting the same day. Shipping should begin in late November to early December, though initial availability might be limited. This new Mac Mini could be perfect for several use cases, Content creators will love its powerful, compact workstation capabilities. Developers get a versatile development machine that can handle multiple virtual environments. Small businesses can appreciate its space-saving design while maintaining professional-grade performance. 
and home users get a powerful, quiet desktop that fits anywhere. To be completely transparent, there are some things to consider. Components won't be user upgradable. You might need USB-C adapters for older devices, and the entry price is higher for the new design. However, the benefits seem to far outweigh these potential limitations. Before you go, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What would you use this new Mac Mini for? Are you excited about the smaller size, or are you concerned about the port changes? Drop a comment below, and let's discuss. Also, if you found this deep dive helpful, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more detailed tech analysis. We'll be doing a full review when the Mac Mini actually launches. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.